Mr. Chair, can you hear me? Oh, now it's working. Fantastic. Mr. Chair, I'd like to first of all start off uh, by congratulating the Minister, Honourable Paula Bennett, on the immense amount of work that she does in this very, very difficult and challenging area. This particular portfolio, as my uh, colleague, um, Pesita Sam Lotuinga, who is the chair of the Social Services Select Committee, has mentioned uh, Ministry of Social Development administers around $21 billion a year. It is the largest of the government spending. It is actually the third uh, of all government expenditure and provides services to more than 1.6 million people. The range of work that is actually carried out by the ministry, sir, is, is really huge and varied from the care and protection of vulnerable children to student allowances and fees. So the workload is actually quite humongous. Mr. Chair, I want to talk a little bit about the uh, government's children's action plan because I know everyone around this house care about our vulnerable children. Our children mean so much to us because this um, government's children's action plan is such a positive initiative that targets uh, support and services to our most vulnerable children through more than 30 new initiatives uh, introduced in the white paper. These initiatives are the result of months of research discussions and policy developments. Uh, there were roughly around 10,000 submissions sent in on the green paper for vulnerable children. And I went to some of these meetings and there were lots of heated and vibrant discussions around the green paper, uh, as well as consultation with key experts in health, justice, education and social services. And what international best practices show keeps children safe from harm. And this white paper, um, as, a, as a government team that actually went right around the country to talk about the uh, white paper on vulnerable children, um, I, I, I was very um, heartened by talking to the people in the uh, districts, actually, because every time I met people talking about the uh, white paper, they were passionate, they were very positive um, about doing something. I guess it's because they are sickened by the fact that, you know, we haven't done so well uh, in terms of neglected children. Some of the children have been so abused in this country and we should be ashamed. And this government is doing something about it. It is time for fundamental change, and this government is doing that through the Children's Action Plan. The white paper, including um, uh, Children's Action Plan, goes beyond politics, sir. It's not only for the generation of children that are growing up now, it is for the generation of children to come. Uh, the Children's Action Plan will be the basis of the most significant advancement in child protection this country has seen. It gives us clear, easy direction on how our children protection system will be reformed and new measures that will be implemented over the next 10 years. Many people are actually concerned about children, but, but are reluctant to call uh, child, youth and family about their concerns. The new child protection line will be the first point of contact to call to ensure the right response. The Vulnerable Kids Information System will be set up to hold information on children in one place so that relevant professionals who work with children will be able to access all the information from one place. And wouldn't it be fantastic if teachers who deal with children uh, and notice that children are abused can actually pick information and realize that actually that child has been to hospital with broken bones, have been abused, have been beaten, and people can take action as a result of the shared information. And it is great to see new children's team that are being established, uh, are going to be uh, created right across government agencies, working together with regional directors to coordinate individualized responses locally. This regional ownership of the teams is a crucial element, sir, in this trial, because the evidence is that local solutions work best to meet local needs. 
We are responsible for the welfare and well-being of our children, and the government's children's action plan will mean tough new restrictions for abusers through child abuse prevention orders that will allow judges to stop child abusers from gaining access to children. Uh, taxpayers Order. spend $22 million Order. a day. Is a member taking another call? No, we'll sit down then, if you think. Um, the question is that the report of the Social Services Committee on the 2011-12 Financial Review of the Ministry of Social Development be noted. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. I understand the next Financial Review members wish to debate is the Financial Review of the Ministry of Defence. Will members please turn to the Foreign Affairs, Defence and Trade Committee's report. The question is that the report of the Foreign Affairs, Defence and Trade Committee on the 2011-12 Financial Review of the Ministry of Defence be noted. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the Honourable Phil Mr. Gott. Chairman.